Hey YouTubers, Xbox seniors, and the rest of you guys out there. This is Xbox Expert in 2008. This is the liquid cooled 360 that was featured in 2006. Redesigned a little bit. The first one was sold to a guy in the United Kingdom. And uh, check it out. built-in wireless with an external antenna that can be easily directed in any direction and removed it's also got a fan speed controller for those who don't like the noisy Xboxes see-through hard drive just to show it off we're gonna swing around to the back these are removable quick disconnects that do not leak they can be purchased from colder.com no leak whatsoever this is liquid for those who don't know what liquid cooling is these are liquid lines they come from the radiator go through into the graphics card into the CPU and back out into the radiator it's all self powered from the Xbox 360 power It's got a fan speed switch back here, low and high. Everything's labeled very nicely. It's pretty hard to uh, not know where things go when transporting this around. This is the 90 nanometer chip. It's not the uh, 65 Falcon. So it does run a little bit hot considering it's liquid cooled. I'm not sure if the uh, Falcon chips would run any better if I were to liquid cool them, but we'll definitely try because that, my friends, is the Falcon. That's the next water cooling system I'm going to build. It's going to be completely internal instead of external. Now, with this box over here, this is a coolant, uh, a, uh, I'm sorry, this is a Corsair Nautilus 500. It's got an upgraded fan up top. It's an aero fan. Pushes a little bit more air than the original. It's also got a danger den. Dual 120 millimeter radiator down here. I don't know, you can't really see it because it's all black, but it's upgraded as well. It's cleaned maybe once a month, so it gets kind of dusty. But other than that, it's pretty much self uh self-contained. You can see the DVD drive spinning if you put a DVD in here. That's the CPU water block. That's the LCD that displays the temperatures of the CPU and the graphics processor. This Xbox hasn't been powered on in a couple of days so it's gonna run pretty cool on boot up. Let's see what happens when I turn it on. seventy nine Fahrenheit 
That's the graphics processor. There's nothing hooked up to the third one. I was thinking about doing the memory, but I never got around to it. 68 Fahrenheit for the CPU. And it is 3.36 in the evening today. So, uh, that actually kept its time. CPU, 72, 73. This is the fan speeds of both the fans in the back. Now that, again, is the uh, graphics. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to twist this up. Right now, it's at the lowest settings you can possibly go. It's 2,500 RPMs. Watch as I turn it. 26. Thirty-three. I'm turning it up. Thirty-seven. Forty-two. All the way up. It's about forty-three to forty-five. Sticks around forty-three. I'm gonna turn it back down, and you'll see when it goes back to CPU, it'll go back to twenty-six. So around twenty-six to to thirty-six. Now in my other videos, I didn't do this, but I'm going to do it in this one. I'm going to disconnect the 360's water cooling device and let the device overheat. Yes, I'm crazy. device overheats. Let's shut her down. And turn her back on with the liquid cooling system intact. We drop that CPU down from about 120 right back down to 102 and the graphics processor back to 100 uh, to 93. And as you can see it's perfect. It's pretty much the end of it. There's really nothing other than this to show off. You can see the internal wireless in there. It doesn't have a signal obviously. I don't have it set up. That's pretty much it. So from me to you guys, stay safe. It's nice to finally get back in touch with you guys. I'd like to hear comments. I'm trying to keep this video under 10 minutes so <laughs> Enjoy life, guys. Be safe. Talk to you later. Xbox Expert, signing off.